Missing the AC-22 at Jason Suki. So 25 cars, go at it. Here we go, it's gonna be 22 SS Chase Seminole 31, or it should be 13 Alamance 88 P. Leon Fondensteel, your top three. It is Seminole, then Fondensteel. Here's Kyle Piper to third to 54 P. Brady Bacon to fourth, 13 Al Evans in fifth. Seminole lead it back to green. We'll draw an ounce of 50-50 after this race, worth $117 tonight. We are back to green. Here's Neon Leon Fondensteel to the outside of Shea Seminole. Trying to make a pass, Leon's gonna get high. Hold on, Leon. Jay of Judiman goes to the pits. Oh my God, yellow, 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 top, yellow's out, top of turn three, we got one off. All right, Cody says we are gonna go back to green. Banking alongside Piper, Whaley fourth, Cody Graham now fifth, Coop is sixth. Two and three wide into the corners. It's now going to be Banking second, Whaley third, Graham fourth, Kyle Piper back to fifth. They're still chasing Chase Seminole. In the 22 SS. Seven I Daniel Irwin's going to go to the pits. Mike Armstrong in the 6A has a right rear going down. So you can see the smoke coming out of the back end. We may have a new leader right here. It's going to be the 7-Eleven of Brady Bacon. Four guys, we got one. He's moving. They're all moving. Al Evans goes to the pits. Reggie went around, got her straight depth, we'll stay green. Somebody draws a warning. Right? See that Armstrong up to third now behind Beckett and Seminole. Looks inside seven off for second. Garrett Hager, who went to the back of the pack after going to the pits, back up to fifth. Wow. What a run. Shoemaker inside the track in two. Gets back on. Well, still green. across we are halfway Brady Bacon your leader he's be 
again challenged by 6 Adam Armstrong. Dives to the bottom. But look at Hager on the move. Up to third. Armstrong to the bottom. Two at the top, guys. We're yellow, 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 yellow. Go low, turn two. We got one in up top. Yellow's out, yellow's out. Together. We are back to green. Trouble off turn two. Caution can come back down. That may Ron Whaling maybe over the top. Guys, uh, yellow, yellow, yellow. We got one off the top of turn two. Yellow's out. Shea Seminaw and Kyle Piper. Your top five as you go back to green. Ten down, ten to go. Three wide. Banking off the corner is going to have the momentum. Hager gets shoveled back. Seminaw looking. Here comes Armstrong to the bottom. Will we have a new leader? No, it's still banking. Armstrong, Hager, Seminole. Man, and they are battling it out all the way through the pack. It's not just up front. Look at that, about six car pack for fourth. Hager gets in front of Armstrong, banking back to third, seven off fourth, Coop is now fifth. They would finish in that order, we would have a tie for the point lead going into the final nights for the hobby stocks on September 20th. Seven off gets loose on the bottom, banking to third, here comes Kyle Piper to the outside. Coop, Colt, Piper, Cody Graham, Tamman, Traskowski, and Ross. Well, the top two have pulled away. Bankin leads about a, a nine car pack for third. Didn't look at that, five guys battling out back there for about 10 spots. Armstrong to the bottom. Looks inside of Hager. Can he make it stick? Hager still your leader. Adam Armstrong currently second in national points. Now Bacon gets wide off the backside. Coop goes to third. Who got wide, holds on, Bacon fourth, Kyle Piper fifth, Graham sixth, Colt Piper seventh. Armstrong just cannot make it work down low. Hager's got the line on him. Cody Graham off the track in a 10 car. He's back on. White flag's going to wave. One to go. Armstrong having troubles in the 6A. And I don't know if he's even going to hang on to second. That right rear tire might have went. He's going to struggle to finish. Here's your winner, though, Garrett Hager. Stretch, 68 to the front stretch, top the other three to the deck area. 
top three or four. I was just kidding when I said bring him to the booth. I was just joking. Well, we might have to. There you go. Hey, you're getting a little there. Maybe. Garrett, come on up here. You passed about 40 cars tonight between <laughs> where you started, where you dropped back, where you finished. Talk about the car tonight. Oh. Hello. Oh. The car was awesome. I didn't know what we were going to have after that incident on the second lap. And... Um, felt it out after that restart, you know, felt, felt it out for a couple laps and it was still working good. Once I got to the top and hit the cushion, I mean, it was, it was hooked up. You and Adam have been fighting for the points lead here for quite a while and it's going to come down to the final night of the race season to determine who gets it. But you're going to have that little bit of a points cushion going into the final night. Talk about the season as a whole because this has been a great year. Yeah. And um, didn't really expect it to go this well at the beginning of the year, but um, just fortunate that it has, and we've been able to finish where we have every night. Um, I don't know where he finished at. I know he was in second, but um, I'm just going to have to keep it out of trouble on the last night and try to get it to the front like we do every night. Who do you thank for the car? Uh, Marty Barth, Bart Chassis. I'd uh, also like to thank Fisher Race Engines, en Engine Quest, Peak Performance Machining, my wife, uh, all the other sponsors on the car, and all my fans. Big round of applause, Fred Hager. You know, Hager's running.